Garden hoses don't last forever. You can hit them with a mower, weed whacker, or they just wear out from regular use. And if you leave a hose like this around, it's an accident waiting to happen that could flood your whole yard. Now, most people just go and replace these, but they can cost as much as $60. But in this video, I'm gonna show you three ways to fix any type of garden hose that'll save you replacing it, and one of the methods won't cost you a dime. And here you can see that mower damage is pretty severe, but take an extra second to look for any other damage like this. Might not be a big deal, but my advice is to cut out any sections that don't look right. Now you can use a regular pair of scissors, but hoses can be tough. So you might want to consider using a knife or a pair of shears like this. They can make the job a lot easier. First repair is easy and it's free to do. Now if you're in a pinch and you don't have any other way to fix a hose, this can really save the day to get you back up and running. Grab a scrap piece of copper pipe. This one is a half inch size and it's the most common. You're going to insert one end of it into the hose and you want the piece to be about four to eight inches long. But it won't stay in there by itself so you'll want to secure it with a hose clamp. Tighten it as secure as possible and then repeat the process on the other side. This is a simple way to get you back in business without a trip to the store. But if you don't have hose clamps, you can just use that pipe along with a couple of nylon ties. But because this can be pretty loose, you want to at least put two of them on both sides. But keep an eye on this repair because this is definitely not a permanent one. Here's another cheap upgrade that can fix your hose in no time. They include this barbed fitting that is made of brass. You insert it into the hose just like you did the copper pipe, but they include the hose clamps with the kit, so in just a couple of minutes you're up and running in no time. And even though this kit is easy, it's not my favorite way to do it because those hose clamps can be kind of sharp and it makes the hose catch on just about everything. And you could just wrap electrical tape around it, but a better option is to buy this upgraded kit here. It costs just a few dollars and it includes that barbed fitting that you put in the middle, but instead of using hose clamps, they include these special squeeze clamps that go right over the hose. And when you put them in place, they don't have any sharp edges and it allows the hose to slide along without getting caught. You can also use this kit to put two hoses together. And using this kit is easy. You slide the clamps over the hose, put the barbed fitting in the middle, and then tighten each clamp down using a Phillips head screwdriver. And when you're done, you'll have a permanent connection that'll be snag free. But an even more common problem is the ends of a hose getting damaged. This happens all the time and most people just live with it until the end blows off and you lose a lot of water. But the repair is just as easy. Start by cutting off the entire end and then you'll want to go ahead and get one of these repair kits. And the one I recommend uses the same type of squeeze clamps that we used for the inline repair. But the difference is you want to get the right end that you need to fix. There's a female and a male end. The male end will always screw into your garden sprayer, sprinklers, or anything else that you'll put on the end of your hose. And these install so easily, you'll wonder why you didn't fix your hose sooner. You just cut off the damaged end, insert the barbed fitting, and then tighten the clamp down, and now you've got a brand new threaded end that you can use in your hose. And remember that every hose always has to have one female and one male end. You don't want to have two of the same that'll cause you connection problems down the road. The female end that you're looking at here is the part that'll screw onto the tap on your house. And those are the three easy ways to make any garden hose repair and get you back up in business even if you don't have any money to spend. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.